So, hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Let me explain what this is all about while showing some pictures. Last semester, I took a project course at university where we had to make a ray tracing engine for rendering images. We weren't supposed to learn anything about existing libraries or GPU acceleration, just plain old Java programming from scratch. As you may be able to guess, ray tracing advanced visual effects purely on the CPU begs for parallelism. So before the course even started, I began to think, we have four computer labs at our department, totaling 81 machines, each with four cores and no hyperthreading, all accessible to students over SSH. So, in March, I started working on a computation distribution platform, and soon after, Anet was born. Since then, I've used it for my rendering engine, and I'm actually proud of some of the renders that came out of it, though you can judge for yourself. The level of parallelism is a bit disappointing for 324 cores, reaching a ratio of 196 total CPU time versus real time on some of the more heavy renders. While part of this can be attributed to the operating system on the machines not giving my processes full CPU, although close to it actually, it seems as if it's mostly due to the bad job scheduling uh, on the part of ANET. Yet, take into account that just days before the deadline of the graphics project, I was still rewriting the code to allow for multiple processes per machine so after I got that running without issues, I really didn't feel like looking into uh, further optimizations, and neither have I felt that way since then. Similarly, I didn't think too much about performance while writing the renderer itself. I was already quite happy to get the features working. I'm also sorry about the blur earlier. However, I figured that there was some information that I probably shouldn't publish online, even though I'm not entirely sure how much of it could be abused. Uh, I could have done another take after I thought of this during editing, but after going to the department three times already and finally succeeding in finding an empty computer lab by taking a detour on my way home after midnight, I am not going through that and never again, with those freaking students always studying there for their retake exams during the day. Anyway, I hope this clip sufficed as a demo. That's all I had to say. Enjoy the rest of the pictures, and I hope I will see you in another video.